Oh. Feed me more. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Ryback Has Heat. Ryback Has Heat. Today. We're doing the chocolate challenge, the uh, Coco Loco challenge. This $40 chocolate bar. Seems a little bit much, guys, huh? Warning, extremely spicy. Spicy chocolate infused with the Black Reaper pepper. I don't know if we've had the Black Reaper pepper. Was it, Maybe that was in the Pocky chip, but that was hot. That second Pocky chip was pretty hot. Um... The Choco Challenge is for the pain-seeking masochist who hates cancer, but also has no regard for their own well-being. No, I love myself. I do this for the mind, to strengthen the mind, and there's a lot of health benefits, so I don't agree with that. Our chocolate is fired up by the Black Reaper, a mysterious pepper hotter than a Carolina Reaper, and exclusive to the Choco Challenge. No extracts. The Black Reaper is a new unreleased pepper created by mad scientist Smokin' Ed Curie of Pucker Butt Pepper Company. Pucker Butt. <laughs> what a stupid name. All right, guys. There's four grams of fat in this. Seven grams of carbs. Six grams of sugars. We're going to open it up. That's taped. I hope I can get the tape off. I didn't bring a knife, usually. It just looks like a little piece of scotch tape. I'm just gonna break it off. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Um, are you crazy enough to take the challenge? Uh, number one, eat it. Try to eat the entire bar of chocolate, and two, film it. Take a video or photo of your attempt to eat the blazing Black Reaper chocolate bar. Terrible sweet pain awaits. Share it. Post your attempt on social media for a chance to win a year of hot sauce. Not required to eat the entire bar to enter. Be sure and tag uh, Fuego Box and hashtag Chaco Challenge 2019. All right. Well, Fuego Box, you can also shout out my Instagram. The big guy, Ryback22, and Twitter, Ryback22. My podcast, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. If you guys could subscribe to that on iTunes or Google Play, SoundCloud or, or wherever you listen to Spotify and uh, turn on notifications. It really greatly helps. See, I got, we got a lot of great guests on there, guys. You don't even have to listen to the whole thing. Just listen for like five minutes. Five. Five minutes. And uh, it helps. It goes towards the listens. Maybe you have to listen for 10. I don't know. Just give it a shot. We'll see. Listens are going up, though, the more we do YouTube. So no complaints. <sighs> I've had a hard day, guys. I trained with Nick Best today. I squatted 555. Two weeks of training with Nick Best. He has me squatting a uh, ridiculous amount of weight. I jumped up 55 pounds and uh, with a deeper, better squat than two weeks ago at 505. And uh, rack pulled 775 for two. I'm still nowhere near where I am going to be. But the strength is slowly or kind of quickly coming back. And my shoulder has improved tremendously, so... Got my ice cold water here. I guess what we're going to do is eat this shit, guys. And uh, what do you think? Five minutes of no water? It doesn't have any rules. The water, the reason I don't do milk, guys, is because I'm not a little bitch. I know a lot of you just don't understand. I do the water just like it makes it hotter, essentially. But I just like doing water. I always, I drink water all throughout the day. I piss like a racehorse. I just, you know. Probably should have a bottle strapped up to me at all times. I'm always pissing. <laughs> but I'm a little tired, guys. And I just got into doing my shoulder rehab twice today. Just did another one. The dogs are begging for my attention because they were in the crates for most of the day. Little guy needs so much attention. You guys have no idea. Sophie's a little better. I mean, even she loves to be held and 
little guy though, like he's going, he's a little Boston Terrier. He likes to be walked. And Sophie, after she broke her back again here this last couple last week, uh, just has to take it easy for a few weeks, even though she's acting completely normal. The it, it, the rupture didn't um, hit her spinal cord, so she doesn't need surgery. But so no walks because she gets really miserable when I take a little guy by himself. It's like having two little babies. It's a balancing act. So. Shut the fuck up and eat the bar. I, I can't even yell. I can't even do my normal gig. I just, I expended so much energy today, guys. Just work with me here. This should kick my ass so pretty good. Ooh. All right. This doesn't look horribly, like, dangerous. That's what she said. <laughs> but, uh, packs quite the punch. I never heard of the Black Reaper. Is that a real thing or is this company just making shit up? You must be loco if you only knew. Last chance uh, to turn back to consume this cocoa. That's what I think of you, Coco Loco. Oh, it. Oh, oh. My whole body just got. Wow. This shit. Ooh, I got to get the mind right for this. I don't know if this is smart doing this after this training today. I've, central nervous system has been spent so much. I'm doing things I haven't done in so many years, getting my body and like, am I just being a little bitch now, guys, making excuses? I might be. I might legit be for the first time. This This doesn't look horribly... I mean... It, I wish you could smell the, it smells like the damn Pocky chip, but it's a chocolate bar. And I got to be careful. I shouldn't even be touching this damn thing with my hands because I'm going to do something stupid and put my eyes. This doesn't have anything with the water. So if there's no water, usually they'll tell you. So I'm okay with water on this one. But maybe I'll try to do five minutes if you guys think. Uh, video starts at, let's say, 7.20 for the dickheads that want to tell everyone when it actually starts. Ruin it. Oh, fuck, I just got to touch it. That's what she said again. Here we go. 7.30. Snow Road. Definitely has a little kick to it. Oh, hiccups are coming. The herps. Oh, boy. See? Hiccup, burp. The herps. I don't make this shit up, guys. Oh, there's a lot of herps with this one. A minute and a half in. Feel it in my throat. This has a nice burn. My thing, I think my biggest critique with these are, is I don't like the, I wish they tasted better. That pepper though, so damn. Do I have chocolate in my thumb? Oh, no, okay. I'm just a dirty pig. Wait, what is that? Well, that's weight stuff on me. Is that dumbbell in my hands? Throwing around some serious weight lately. 
like 298, 300 pounds, staying lean, getting bigger, getting stronger. Muscles are starting to come back and round, getting fuller. Very excited for the future. Very blessed also, guys. Trying to just, uh, because I've always been very confident in everything I could do physically and men mentally, but I've also learned I've had a super competitive drive all my life that I think has been kind of dangerous for me in a very unhealthy way. And um, I've had to shift my mindset a little bit. And I think this injury to my back and shoulder really taught me that. And it took some time. And it was, uh, but allowed me to um, just shift it to, and I've always wanted to learn. I've always applied myself and learn. But it, it, helped, it helped me um, just simply going, I just want to learn as much as possible and, and never realizing that, um, I think I just quit trying to be the best in everything that I, I start doing. I think that's a really bad thing. I think if you just go in with an open mindset of learning and work really hard, definitely set goals, that the cards will work out how they're supposed to work out on that. But I think when you just single-handedly just want to be the best, I think it can create some really bad, bad things. And um, I've learned, I've learned that just some unhealthy things, it's not a good balance sometimes. And not to say there aren't times when you might need that, but for me, at least for my particular situation, it's, um, it's done nothing but allowed a lot of good for me. So I'm very happy, uh, where the, way, <coughs> excuse me, this is hot, the way things are progressing right now. And, uh, I think too, with all of us, if we just, just take that learning mindset, it takes a lot of pressure off too. And if you're good at something, you're going to be great at it. If you apply yourself and keep working at it. But it's just a small shift and uh, letting the ego go completely because the ego is a very powerful thing and confidence is extremely important. But with ego, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a fine balancing act. So the injuries have been good for me in many ways, as negative as they have been in some, the positives have been tremendous for me. All right, 15 seconds here. And uh, we'll have a little water to get that horrible Black Reaper taste out of my mouth. So this, guys, wasn't, um, I think my threshold has gone up a lot. I think the next one, we're going to do some peppers. And maybe try to do seven or eight of the hottest peppers. Go take a swig of water for the working man. And uh, or if you guys have any ideas for challenges on the heat, let me know. I know that Mad Dog Plutonium. Uh, it is a goal, guys, to get that. I'm trying to work my tolerance up because I've seen it. That has messed up so many people. I've learned, too, guys, this is, it's okay to work. I'm, this is practice for me. You guys are actually seeing the evolution of the practice just with hot stuff. That this is getting easier as time goes on. But sometimes, oftentimes, people, you shoot your load too early and you burn out. So it, it's just continuous progression. And not all of them are always going to be... You know, it, 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 they're all different in their own way. And they're fun at the bottom end of the day and to see what can actually, some of them, one of them could be extremely hot and not expect it. So, but there's a Hell's Kitchen here in Vegas that has these super hot chicken wings. And uh, I think they've destroyed anyone who's, you got to eat like 10 or 12 of them and you got to eat all the sauce. The sauce is beyond dangerous. So that one would be a nice one to get a, 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 to go to for a big challenge. That'd be fun. I would like to see if Johnny Scoville can do that with maybe in one of these days. Not anytime soon. We've got to, I got to work up a bit. But if I've heard it's absolutely, that would be a really fun video. Shout out to Johnny Scoville as always, Chase the Heat channel. He's, uh, he's the man in the UK Chili Queen. Those are my two favorites in the chili game. And uh, they've helped me a lot, giving me some, some tips on what to do with these. And so it's greatly appreciated. And they, they're... They're the masters of this, so I'm uh, just a young up-and-comer, young, hungry up-and-comer in the chili head game, so uh, not bad, not bad, guys. This was uh, the Coco Loco, definitely, uh, definitely has some uh, heat to it. That Black Reaper, it, it's, uh, it, it definitely, that, that smell was really, really strong. The burn in the mouth was 
pretty intense. I give it, I'm going to give it a seven and a half on the heat on that out of a scale of one to 10. And, uh, and if it would have been even more, I could, it could have definitely been a lot worse, but for the one bar for what it was, there's a lot of people that probably can't do this. So not bad, not bad at all. That's Ryback has heat guys. Thank you for watching. And until next time, my friends feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel, and for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10, click here for my podcast conversation with the big guy, Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. Click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.